Wow, I don't believe I've ever seen this side before. That's what overlooks the forest. These are long bridges. And there's the water down below. I think I see... Are there any birds flying about? No. No, so I don't... I don't see anything along that side. I mean, there's a waterfall. I wonder if we can actually get over there. It, it seemed to hover above it, but I don't know if it would be close enough to actually jump onto it and find a handprint. It just, it seems like there's structures over there, but it's probably trees. Must have been carved out by water a long time ago. There's another rock, but it's midway through the path, so I don't believe we'll be able to access that. And... I'm wondering if we're ever going to see the prisons at the top of the age. They said that there was a machine, a device that could teleport you or transport you into specific cells. I suppose it makes sense if they could use an imager similar to Atrus's, but a kind of like revolving linking book that can be used universally, blah, universally to link you into specific cells, then you wouldn't have to worry about transporting people. They would get plopped in a cell and would have no way to come out of it. Unless they were actually led out to a room where they could link. Yeah, so we've been on this rock and we've seen what's down below. We haven't been on this rock. This is going to take a while. Maybe what I should have done is <laughs> tried a different bridge. <laughs> but I'm fine sitting and chatting. There are some clouds in the sky. Fast moving, too. I wonder if I have any emotes. Slash dance. Whoa. Maybe that's the creatures that they kept talking about. The ones that people wouldn't dare venture to the forest for. Yeah, it'd be creepy to encounter something out here. That's one thing I like about the Mist games, though. You don't ever have to worry about dying by being attacked by a monster or an enemy. The only instances in which you die via another person is, uh, oh, back in Riven if you annoy Gen, back in Exile if you... Trap Saavedro, then accidentally free him, or link back to Samana too soon and he follows you, and then he harms everyone. Yeah, there's those. In Revelation? Probably if Cirrus possessing the body of Yisha was, if you had, like, taken Yisha's word, well, quote-unquote Yisha, if you had actually followed Cirrus's command rather than Akinar's, then he would, he, I think he would have killed you both. Okay, we're almost there. Now, I think this is the one I have to jump for. Or no. Um, hi! I'm... I am... I am chest deep in rock? Help! Help! I'm... Help! Oh no! Um... Hey, can I... Can I at least, uh... Get the hand symbol? Please? Oh! That teleported me out! 
Yes! Yes! Victory! <laughs> but you saw that, right? I was... This rock is the buggiest thing I've ever encountered in this game. Aside from the glitch with the one puzzle. I always get stuck in it. Look, even my feet are sinking into it slightly. But it was a good thing I thought to click the hand symbol. I thought that I would at the very least be able to activate it so that I could return to this platform as opposed to the interior spinning structure. But no. Ah, I was actually able to teleport out of the rock. It'd be amazing if the other handprint symbol is over there. Well, one of the two. But I'm kind of doubting it. Uh, there has to be something up in the prisons. Why would they mention it if we don't go there? But who knows? All right. I think this is the one we just walk onto. Or I'll jump onto it. There we go. Good. Oh, well, actually, wait, no. I don't want to get off. I want to be able to go on to the next rock. Which is coming up. I don't know if there'll be a hand symbol on this one, or just something interesting and unique. There, there seems to be something on it. Okay, so we have a maintainer symbol. Uh, I mean, there is a path that goes down the side. It seems to go a ways, but to where? I don't see anything down here. Nothing on the side. Oh. Was it really just a dead end? Yep. That's what it looks like. Shame. Yeah, I... I think I really will have to go to another age. They said something about Teladon. Or maybe Denis? I thought for sure, though, that all of the Uru games would be self-contained. So, the issue with Teladon was I couldn't find a way to open that one room so that I could link to a book from it. Maybe I'll go to Denis. This will be something different. Hehehehe. <laughs> So, and it's having issues again. Uh, I just must be a bug where I see myself when I look at imagers rather than anything else. Oh, and this is supposed to show, you know, hey, look, everyone's a community. Beach balls. Boop. Welcome to Bevan. For more info... Oh, this is Bevan. Oh, right! And I think... From System Subjects Visitors, Visitors. Oh, and they show Douglas Sharper. 
Apparently I'm the only one that's been here in a long while. At least since 2004. Oh. That's pretty. I don't know if there's a specific order that we have to put those in, but at least we can put things alight. Ah, uh, this is so... I'm not walking down the stairway properly. <laughs> there's some symbols in here, but it seems a tad broken. There's like a book in there too. It's a beautiful garden. I like the lamps of all various types. It's, they almost remind me of those salt lamps that you can get, but obviously, oh, mushrooms. <laughs> but they're obviously smoothed out into beautiful spheres. And this is the area that we were underneath before. Are these doors? Yeah, they are. Oh, there are books here. Cool. So this overlooks the pavilion. This is extensive. Could you imagine people milling about? Those must be apartments or buildings. What does this do? Oh, it sends me to a chamber. I don't know what that is. Well, there's also this door over here. Uh, maybe it's a spotlight. Oh, this is the classroom. It's pretty. The DRE is your, has your best interests in mind. Please only use approved linking books. Look for the DRC stamp. Ah, I see. But obviously, the ones that I've been venturing into haven't been approved. Oh, and this is all in Denis. I won't be able to read that. Oh, and there's the numbers. The number system all there. Please link to the Gorishan Age to pick up your key. Well, I already got that. Welcome to Denis. I wonder if that's the alphabet? Up there? But it's not the complete one. I don't think that's the symbol for A. That's the symbol for SH. Denis has symbols for the, like, sh and ch and th, I believe. Yeah, so. Nice. Uh, that's, that's a classroom. Now there's a lot for me to potentially explore. So before I link to whatever that weird contraption was, I should probably go down and around here. Okay, that goes back there. Yeah, these are the entrances into people's homes and they seem to be numbered. That goes back to that one particular room. Oh wow, what's this? It's a large blue... Is this like an auditorium? Where someone would stand at a podium and talk? Oh, 
quiet, yo, with my recorders. Ah, it must have been a recording. Left over from Denis. Okay. Oh, and this is the main pavilion area. Okay. So there's really only one book that we can go to from here. Now I wonder why I could insert my key imager into the other location. It or the podium. It was it was rather peculiar. Let's go in here. It's just a room with a revolving gear. Another place to put my key. The ferry terminal in Bevan. Is this a teleportation system? Let's go to the ferry terminal. Oh wow. It's it's a linking book repository. Cool. So people could select their desired location and it spits out a linking book? Wow. And there's another one there. I do want to see what's along the shoreline first. I think that's like some kind of archway that, oh, mushroom symbols again? Where does this go to? Is is that Teladon or I'll definitely keep that in mind. I'll return to it as soon as I figure out what else might be on the shoreline. Including this. I wonder if putting my key in here will activate more books. Oh yeah, that goes back to that chamber. So we don't need to worry about that. Oh, uh, so much of the city has crumbled. I, I almost wonder if this is where Phil died or... <laughs> can push the cones around. There doesn't seem to be anything... Oh. Oh, that just lets you see parts of the wharf sort of hinting at maybe a place that we should go to. Oh, well, that's easy. You can just walk there. Uh, so this is where they had their boats moored. Everything is so gray. They're... I mean, we have to remember that this is a cavern. Just an immensely deep cavern. So everything is going to be dark and artificially lit. No, seems like a dead end. I don't believe there are any Relto slips in this vicinity. So we can run back. I wonder where those spotlights are getting their power source. Or what power source is granting them power? Oh, no fair. I suppose there's nothing around that corner anyway, and we can't interact with doors as far as I remember about this game. Like, that, the, the dark doors. The doors that just seem static. Okay. Well, from the wharf, we only have that tome to go to. Hopefully it will link us to Teladon. Yeah, because if we can get to the other side of that 
bridge that we couldn't lower because it wasn't powered properly. What did I say? We're, we're there, sort of. Huh. Oh, but this is broken. No, this is not where we want to be. This one's broken. Can I jump? No, I can't. That's it. Wait, is that where we... Uh. Well, looks like I have to go back. That was Teladon. Oh, hey. So that allows us to go back to that chamber. And I've already gone here, but I don't believe there are any more books aside from that singular one that we found. And that's the path of the shell. Hmm. I'll go here. I'll see if I've activated anything new. Though, if everything's supposed to be self-contained, I don't see how any of this will... No, it's just the ferry terminal in Bevan. on the lower level. Well, that seems to be it for now. I mean, I could try to see if there is a puzzle with these lamps. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it was like a little gold ball. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's see what I can do. Okay, well, I'll try the combinations and see what happens. Red, green, and blue. they influence they do make beautiful noises oh <laughs> that's interesting it's it's displaying a number Nah, I don't, I don't believe there's anything really to this garden other than this? Is there supposed to be a, a book here? Does it appear if we get this right? No, I don't know. We have a green book, some kind of weird red symbol, and a blue symbol. Linking book, and a beetle. Oh, is there anything down here? I don't believe I've ventured here before. Oh. 
That door doesn't seem to be open. Actually, I don't believe I found this before. Oh, no, this is the path up. They all seem to converge, though. Yeah. Oh, was that a missing lamp post? Yep, a lamp is missing. Or no, no, they, they're staggered. didn't seem to be a correct combination associated with this, but why would they put that up there? Unless there was a special pattern. I mean, there's a white globo here. If you mix all three of those colors together, then you would get white. Does there anything that appears on that rock when I turn all of them off? No. Maybe blue? Is this purely for aesthetic purposes? Blue, red. They seem to create beautiful harmonies. Well, I don't know. I don't believe I can just leap onto those. They almost look like they'd be perfect for uh, platforming, but not quite. Okay. I always press escape when I want to go back to Relto, but... Oh, hey! Yeah, that's another thing. Now that we have the platform, I wonder what that does to the Relto. Oh, it adds this? What is this for? It doesn't seem to take us anywhere new. Okay, so we know that that takes us to the upper areas that don't access anything. We know that... Yeah, this one just takes us to those locations. That's the terminal. Then there's the path of the shell. Let's go in here. Hmm, that looks important. It's a kind of pattern. Huh. Oh, wow. There's a giant tree, and there's a sweater with a tree on it. But we're not going to pick up the sweater with the tree on it. Because <laughs> I love my maintainer suit. I can always grab these and add these to my wardrobe later, but... Oh, wow. Are these... There's two linking books. And a DRC book. The Watcher's Sanctuary. Analysis. Author. Simpson. Transcribed from voice recorder. The Watcher's Sanctuary. 2002 to 2003. Two trips. Okay, where to get started? The room itself is actually pretty simple and, at first glance, doesn't seem to have much to it. Well, for your average explorer. There's actually much more here than meets the eye. Much more. At least as far as history. 
It's practically dripping off the walls. Fortunately, I dig that stuff. Lucky for you, I'm also better than your average explorer. Might be getting ahead of myself. Structure, circular room with number of doorways leading off in each direction, large staircase, might need some support work, leads to an upper level. Okay, this just doesn't work without knowing some of the history and story behind this place. I gotta start there. I've done some translation and talked with Watson. This is great stuff. All right, the tree off the balcony. I did do a little walking around. I can't see it well. Dark, but it's an old tree. Don't know exactly when it was created, though certain style and material elements suggest as far back as about the early 2000s, long before a guy called the Watcher came around. And it's the Watcher that this place was created for, renovated for, and dedicated to from the time it was built in the late 4000s until the fall of Denis. The Watcher lived here during the mid-4000s and spent most of that life on hidden, secluded ages. He wrote a book called Words, a prophetical book, Nostradamus-type guy, caught on real well at first through a variety of events. You can ask somebody else if you want to know them all. The guy became more and more popular, then faded, then popular again. You know the deal. There was always a core group of followers, but the overall population wavered. I would imagine depending on how accurate the, the, they viewed his visions. Over the course of time, a whole lot of copies of his books were printed. We found plenty of them. And as I mentioned, the tree, which I still don't know how to actually get to, was built long before the Watcher. No one at the DRC seems to know what exactly it was for. Best guesses are that the tree was built early on as a representation of the Denis that had come here. The new tree. They definitely had a thing for trees. So the Watcher comes along and writes some prophecies. They end up becoming pretty popular, and they do quite a bit with the tree. Well, deal quite a bit with the tree. As much as Denis Prophecy does. And an unknown guy builds this tree with the tree as its focus. Oh, the guy builds this building with the tree as its focus. Seems like the building was an upper class lounge or sitting room. Pub. Something along those lines. The intellectuals come and discuss the philosophies and politics of the day. Though there was some homage being paid to the Watcher and his thoughts and ideas. This sanctuary, or whatever you want to call it, stayed successful even while ownership changed. It seemed it changed as, fre changed as frequently as philosophies and religious views of our people. It wasn't until Kaddish came along, yes, our good friend Kaddish, that things really took off. Kaddish was the guy with all the, the gold that we saw the corpse of, well, skeleton, of in Kaddish Chalesa. Unfortunately, right before the fall, uh, I've just realized I haven't moved in the past few minutes. I'm standing in a building giving an analysis of it without moving. Uh, gotta love history. So back to it. Nice little coves in this place. Wouldn't be bad at all with a cigar and okay. Kaddish in the fall. Kaddish was the last guy to own it and seems he did some renovations. This is where the history and current day setup it gets interesting. The Watcher spoke quite a bit in words about someone known as the Grower. The Grower is prophesied to do a number of things, and it seems that there were numerous interpretations of the Grower. Some saw this person as little more than a great lord or king, while others saw this person as a superhuman miracle worker, godlike, conquering time, space, and dimension and everything. The views on the Grower were as varied as you can imagine. What's important is that Kaddish viewed himself as the Grower, as the one the Watcher had prophesied about. As a result, he modified the pub to honor not only the prophet, but himself as well. He seemed to be intent on fulfilling as many of the prophecies as he could. He built this puzzling path of the shell to the tree, brought the Erkana book here, Kaddish and the engineer behind its construction, brought the Ahnohe, Anone, uh, Anone book here, and claimed that it allowed him to travel through time, back to the Denis homeworld as it was, as it is, and as it would be. Kiddush claimed he wrote the book. All of these things to fulfill the prophecies, even the times of Denis were significant, because the Watcher claimed to see visions of the past, present, and future. As a result, he wrote what he saw, never knowing if it would occur in the future, had already occurred in the past, or was occurring as he wrote. People flocked to the place. 
Not only was it the only way to travel through time, but Kaddish himself was the only one who could solve the spiral path of the shell and access the tree. In fact, he would demonstrate his ability to anyone who wanted to come and watch. Nightly challenges were held to see if anyone else could access the room. It seems no one ever did. Further confirmation of Kaddish as the grower. Kaddish bragged. But the Watcher clearly spoke of how to solve the room in his prophecies and that anyone could find the solution there. Easy to say when you did build the thing. Maybe I don't get something. Either way, good luck reading through all of those figuring out anything, let alone the solution to find some weird Denis puzzle. So it seems that Kaddish ran the sanctuary up until the end. Obviously, at some point, we know he died. We've all seen the remains of the poor guy. Oh, so everyone else has been to Kaddish's room. The, an odd end for a guy that seemed to have so much. Had a book right there, but didn't use it. But that's another story. Okay, history out of the way. I guess I should finish with this spiral path room. I'm not a big puzzle guy, but the room seems very confusing. A switch closes the door and turns on a light and some mechanism releases the ball back to its starting point. There are a number of scratch, uh, numbers scratched into the walls of the maze as well. Enough of that. I can see myself going crazy in a place like this. Ah, the Denis. Obviously, there is no physical access to from the city that surrounds the building. We know the building is up in Jeteri, a nice district, but there is definitely no way to get in from the outside and vice versa. Not sure if Kaddish sealed it up or if it was al if it always was, but I would bet the second idea. Makes it handy to limit access. If you don't have to, to a book, you're not going to get here. And that would explain why the books here were never destroyed or taken. Oh, because Viovis and the others probably took many of the ages and destroyed them. That's it for now. I'll probably get back here again after checking out Ercana and Anone.